So if you receive a text that looks a little bit like this, which is an example I took from TW users this afternoon, and where a user has a table full of chemical names, and in his example, he listed them, and they all started with vinyl, and they all ended with ether. So if there's some kind of a pattern to the information in the table, there are various ways that you can do with, deal with this to make it easy. Now what I have done in this example is I added just a bit of random text, sometimes before, sometimes after, and sometimes before and after, and colored the chemical bits in red just so we could see them, just so I could sh also show you how to deal with it if it gets a bit more complicated. But if they were all just like segments one, two, three, and 10 onwards, then the simple thing to do is you could just select them all by holding the shift key down, then click on the bottom one. That's highlighted them all. Then just press control insert, which copies source to target. And then exactly where the mouse still is over the 18, right click, change segment status, and make them all translated. And within Studio, you've now just handled them all. Now clearly with this example that I've now changed this to, that's not appropriate because the ones in red would now be incorrect because the bits that are not red should be translated. So what I'm going to do is just undo all of that and show you how to use the display filter. So if I click on the review tab, and over here I have a display filter. And what I want to do is filter for segments one to three and segments 10 to 18 only. I can't do it by the segment numbers, unfortunately, but what I can do, oh, that's interesting. Actually, now that I've just said that, I've just thought of a good idea um, for maybe something we can do in a later release with the API. Anyway, that's a side issue. So what I'm gonna do now is say, okay, I just want to filter out things that begin with vinyl and end with ether and have no other text in there. So I use the little caret symbol. Actually, you can see it's coming up already because I've done it before. So I type in vinyl and that will find me any of the segments beginning with vinyl. So if I put that in, for example, you can see now I get everything with vinyl, but that's incorrect because I've also got segment five, um, which ends with text that I don't want. I want it to only end with the word ether. So what I need to do is add to this. So I'm going to say find any text in the middle of that, but then stop when you get the word ether at the end. So that dollar symbol just means find ether at the end and I put it in brackets so that it captures the whole word ether. And now I click it this time, it only filters on those. So then I could then select all of these just as I did before. Control insert, right click, change segment status to translated. And now if I clear this, now you can see that I've translated everything um, that was all on its own, could be handled really easily, so that was all done. But how do I get the bits in the middle? Then it gets a little bit more tricky. Now there is a way you can do it while you're translating. Quite a cool tool. There is a tool called, and I've got it installed here, the Regex Order Suggest Provider. It's this little button here. This is the plugin on the Open Exchange. And if you go to your file options and then up to order suggest, what it does is when you install it, it adds this regex match order suggest provider down here into your order suggest provider options. So it's a new one based on a plugin. And what this does is it allows you to create a rule to find a particular pattern and insert it using auto suggest, which is pretty cool. So what I can do is, I've put a new one in here, I'll call it my vinyl rule, or I'll give it a name. The regex pattern I want is to find, find the word vinyl, then find anything at all that's in the middle, but the same as I did before, ends with ether. But I don't want it to be the last thing in the, in the segment because there's text following it. So I just want to find anything that begins with vinyl um, and keep capturing all the text as it runs through that ends in ether. And I can do that because the pattern that I'm looking for is like that. If you had different variations, you could create different rules and it might be possible for you to do something. It depends entirely on your te text. Anyway, I've written the rule and I can enable that rule like that. And what that allows me to do now is I can come here and I can type, say for example, text first, let's pretend I translated that. And then when I come to do the vinyl, I hit the V and I can enter the entire thing in like that, done. On the next one, I hit the V to begin with, puts the first one, and then I can type text last. Come down to the next one, 
text before, I hit the V, and there it is in here. So you get the idea. It allows you using a very simple expression to capture the patterns in the text and insert them using or to suggest. Really cool feature. Anyway, I hope that gives you some idea of how to handle these kinds of texts.